morning guys and gals. It's uh, Monday morning, um, about 11 o'clock, sorted the kids out this morning for the school work and quickly popped down here. Weather wise, it looks like it's going to rain, so I've got plenty of work to be done on the inside today. First thing I'm going to do is get the geraniums potted up that I got last week. Um, didn't get a chance to do them. And I've also brought down the giant tomatoes. So I've got them to pot up and I'm going to take them into Granada's greenhouse because that's the place for the tomatoes to be. <laughs> so I'm going to get that sorted very quickly now and I've got a list of jobs to do, which I'll show you. And then uh, get that done for the day. So here I am in the tomato factory. <laughs> He's the man for tomatoes, I tell you. So I've put the mine up and I'll spin you around to show you what they like at the minute and I'm going to leave them in here. Granada Dave's going to take good care of them till I'm ready to put into buckets and things. So I've got them here. I've got three. Uh, the, that's not giant warrior parsnip. I'll turn that around. <laughs> Three big Zach have come up. Three of Lee Herritons. I'm sure it's 100% germination. And I've also got one of Chris Evans. And I've got one of the uh, 5.36 Leons from 2018. Um, so they're the giant tomatoes for this year. See how they get on the next few weeks. They'll do just as good as the other ones that we've got in here already. <laughs> Well, what a difference it makes in here being nice and tidy. <laughs> I don't have to trip over or anything, which is great. Um, so I'm going to get the leeks put in today. I'm going to get this side put in and that side put in as well. So I'm going to get this done very quickly and we'll get this uh, another job tactic off the list. Now one of the things that I need to check before I put them in, I've just done it with there, is um, see if the bottom of the leaks are alright. Um, I've just pulled one of them to put in there. As I checked it, I could see a bit of pink on the bottom again. So, on the bottom there, you can see that it's rotten just there. So that is not going to be going into the bed because it will be no good. A few months time so i'm going to change these over it looks like i've lost two so far um which is a shame it is what it is i've got six spare leaks i need to put in here which i'll put the um i'll put some of the this the ones that's next door hardening off i'll put them into here at the back so i'll put six at the back i'll put the two gsns into the middle uh, polytunnel so a bit of a moving around but i'd rather catch it now when i'm putting in the bed, putting the leaks into the beds then later on when i'm ready to pull up and they're dying off There we have it, the Cumbrians are in. So I've got two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six. So I've, some reason I can get nine on the left side, some reason I can get 10 on the right side. I don't know what happened there, but nevertheless, there's three spots at the back. Um, so that's what I've got to go with Cumbrians. They're coming on all right. Uh, I've obviously just put that one in the back and also these ones are rolling now as well. I do want to get this bit tidied up, but with it being wet, I cannot, um, cannot rush, brush it or it'll just smudge all over. So I'm going to leave it to dry. Um, what I've got on the top here, I uh, use some gloves and masks and things. Um, I've got some uh, Vidate, which I've put at the bottom of the holes as well. Um, so that's all All of them done with the Vidate, as are these ones too. So. That's this done. That's another job ticked off the list of things to do. I'm now going to move into the new tunnel and get things prepared in there. We're in the top tunnel here, the new one. What I've done is I've put the soaker hose down. So I've got it all situated so I can get the leaks in the middle there. I've got it all the way around, all the way around the back, starting coming in from that side there. And that's where the join is there. I've got a bit of extra, so what I'm going to do I'm going to cut it here. I'm going to put the cap on the end here. The starting comes in. Then when it gets to the back section here, with this spare, I'm going to put a T-junction on, take it around this bed, back down, 
and back onto there. So this bed's going to be done last. Um, so I'm going to get the outside planted first and then I'll do the inside when the time comes in another month and a half's time or something like that because them leaks aren't going to be ready by till then. Um, so I'm going to get the black weight plastic on here now and then get everything cut ready to go. That's the cover on now as well. Just use the off cuts basically from the main put from the first tunnel. So they're all on there, which is great. I'll see what time it is. I might even cut the holes out in preparation. But very, very happy with that job that I wasn't expecting to get done today. The other task that I was going to get done was to uh, clear that out, getting ready for the heavy onions to come down midweek. Mid I'll just do that tomorrow. I'd rather stick with this task and get it finished. So let's get these sorted. Just before I take us into the tunnel, I'll show you my handiwork. Um, I'll show you what I popped up earlier on today. Yeah, now all the leaks are out. Um, these are all the geraniums that I got given. So I've got them all potted up. As soon as they're getting their feet in, I'll uh, pop a couple across to Leslie. These are a couple of my own from. Uh, I see the, the foliage is a lot nicer on these and they produce a pink flower. So I've got two there. Um, I do have another one somewhere as somewhere else as well. Uh, there is a. So I've got another one there as well, which is a uh, bedding in. And I've got the main main plant somewhere knocking around as well. So I've got a few more from them, which I do like the look of. Uh, them called Robbie have uh, kicked into gear, which is nice to see. But yeah, that's just what I just wanted to show you. I don't know if these five are going to be red or not. We'll see what happens. I need to get them tomorrow's taken down into the greenhouse as well and get potted up. But that'll have to be done another day. Well, that's a job, unexpected job ticked off the list. I'll have to add it to the list for the day. Um, I'm getting the onion house sorted out. I'll get that sorted um, to possibly tomorrow. Um, still plenty of time over the course of the week to get things done. But another job done. Let us show you. I'm, I'm quite impressed. I'm quite happy with the way things have turned out here. What I've decided to do is I've decided to use the buckets, which I was going to use originally for the onions, as little like razors like, to raise the plant out up from the surface so that um, the, the flags can just go over the top of them. Um, it also gives everything a fighting chance in here as well because these leaks here are not quite ready in five litre buckets. So what I'll do is basically just pop them up and they're already in the ground so the, the, the leaks um, roots can go down into the bed as well when it's ready because there's no, there's no bottoms on there straight in the soil. So that's the plan with that. Um, they go straight in the ground when they're ready. Um, that, these are all the leaks in. These are the Betty Blacks on this side. To there, then there's one GSN left. Then from here, we've got Mackenzie CSX. So that's them in there. I've still got five available next door, which I'll be putting into the ground in next door. But they are the, um, they're these ones. They're the Bob, uh, not the Bob, they're from uh, Rob, sorry, and they're the Betty Blacks, but a little bit behind, but I'm pleased with the way things have turned out in here. No need to worry about watering, because watering's going to be done from underneath. Um, I just need to sort out the middle bed here, which I can do at a later time. I just need to get an adapter um, for the middle of the T-piece, um, and then I can get the last bit section done here. And any stragglers, I can stick them in here. I'm actually debating whether to put uh, to leave the leeks on the outside, by that pop a couple of leeks uh, to onions in the middle or grow something else in the middle of here. But we will see. So it's start raining, time for me to head back home, have my tea and have a bath. <laughs> Catch you tomorrow. Well, what an absolute glorious day it is today. I'm running uh, a bit behind this morning. Um, I've got the three kids with us this morning. They're going to help out by planting some tomatoes that's ready um, to go into the bottom greenhouse here. So I want to get things planned and sorted out for that. So that's going to be a bonus to be getting done. Um, I've got the middle greenhouse to sort out. That's behind there. For, and I've got the um, the leeks to plant in this tunnel this morning. Um, so let's get this uh, these tasks done. So we've got 24 buckets. 24, 10 and we're going to be fill and we're going to be filling them filling them halfway and um, with compost and then we'll be planting tomatoes in so the two types of tomatoes going to be planting is shirley and sun gold so let's get packing elizabeth yeah So 
this is so we're gonna be doing a hole in the center of all the way down the bottom all the way down then lifting it up putting it in the next one and then we'll be getting this we'll be putting it in and, and then shaking the bucket that's one done we'll do the rest of the 22 24 there's 24 draw ones that we've already done here. So while the girls are getting on with that, me and little Kyle here. Say hello, Kyle. Hello. <laughs> we're I have not even found this. I know that's what we're going to actually be putting in today. So um, I got some uh, some some more um, fittings for the hose. So what me and Kyle's going to do, we're going to fit the hose so that it can go in the middle section of the bed here, and we're going to get the middle bed prepared as well. So Kyle, let's get cracked on, eh? Kyle's been very helpful there, so what, Kyle, do you want to tell everybody what we did? Yeah, so we've got our compost from there and we'll put it in here. Was that Daddy's homemade compost? Yeah. We've had to fill the bed up a little bit more, didn't we? Because it was uh, a bit le not level enough. And you've been a really good boy and picked up most of the rubbish, apart from the glass and everything, which Daddy picked yeah. up. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get the soaker hose, so, because Daddy didn't really think very much yesterday. <laughs> and I'm going to do a join from the inside, the side here. I'm going to drill a couple of holes through there. The one that side, one that side. Pop the holes through and do a join so that they come, the sort of holes can go down there, around there, and join back up on that side to make a one complete hose. So, are you ready, Kyle? Yeah. Let's get this sorted, eh? Yeah. Thanks to help of Kyle there, we've managed to get that little piece uh, put into the bed there. Wait a second soon. Um, so I've just got a joiner on there. I've got a stop section on there with a join that side and uh, also on that side as well. Now, at the moment of truth, and we'll see if this little quick fix has done the job. Right, the hose are switched on. Moment of truth, we'll wait for it to it's get coming, through. It's coming. See, can you see the water? Yeah. Hey, Kyle. It's just... What? It works. Why does it go over here? It's all connected to shit. Yeah. I can have the nice one over here. Did you? Yeah. Well, look, the job worked. We've got the just water in. That's the whole point. That's called a soaker hose, son. And what it does is it wets the ground so it can just plug the hose in so the ground can get wet and that waters the plants. Yeah, so that you can get on with some other jobs. But that's yeah, a good job doing that. Now I'm going to switch it on. It's like the water. <laughs> is that good, son? <laughs> well, that's a good job, that, yeah, Kyle. Yeah. Now, what we need to do. When you're finished playing with the water, distracted us much of what? It's a nightmare trying, trying to, to get these kids to leaking. focus. To <laughs> Put your finger on it then. Put your finger on it. Put your finger on the hole. Down there. Put your finger on that. Put your finger on that. Right, if you stop there for the entire growing season, so that stops going like that, that'll be fine. No, don't do that. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know where I get these kids from. <laughs> Right, me and Kyle's going to put the white, black and white plastic on the top there. It's going to be a quick, simple job. Staple over the top. Jobs are good. And, and get them marked out, ready for the rest of the stuff that go in. Then that's the middle tunnel done. And there we go, another good job done. So that's the middle bed sorted out as well. I'm in two minds at the minute. 
I mean, two minds whether to put leeks in the middle trench or go tomato and giant tomatoes in a giant cucumber because this seems to be the best place for them. I'm in two minds at the minute. I don't know whether to put them in here or even put giant onions in the middle. And then put ones there. The, in fact, I am. I'm going to stick with the cucumbers and tomatoes in there. And I'm going to put some uh, onions in the middle here. I'll put the giant onions in. I'll see what I've got. See how many I can put in. Right, I've just spotted my first enemy for the lilies. And everybody knows exactly what they are. There's actually a few of them on here. I'm going to check the other ones. Now, these are called lily lily beetles. They're red. And they'll eat the lilies. They produce offspring, which are on the underside. The offspring cover themselves in poo, their own excrement. And they'll eat the leaves and they'll destroy the lilies. So what we'll do is go across these now and squash them. It's the only way you can get rid of them. And that's what they look like there. But be careful because if you disturb them, knock them, they'll flip upside down and you'll be able to get a hold of them again. Also, these are what the eggs look like. Like that. So if you see any red sections like that, get rid of them as soon as possible. So we've, got tw so we've potted in all 24 tomatoes in the 24 pot. 12 shirty and 12 Seven sun goals. <laughs> So we're going to be putting, the, putting them in the middle greenhouse for the time being. We're going to store them in there. But, for now we've got to clean it out. So we'll have to do that. Well, thanks to the help from Sky, we're getting the tomatoes into the middle greenhouse here. So that's, these are where these will be staying for the time being, until they get a bit taller. Um, we've got 12 sun gold on this side. We're only filled up halfway with compost, of course. It always gives us opportunity to um, fill it up a bit more if need be, but these should grow fine in just half a tub of compost. That's only that's only five litres. Thanks for fine compost. as well. So that's them ones done on this side, and this one's done on this side as well. These will react well in here, nice and warm. Shirley. These are Shirley. Mm -hmm. So they're all done. So once again, thanks very much for your assistance, Sky and Elizabeth. That's all my tomatoes pretty much sorted out. Just got the raw matter put in. So what I've got here is I've got the um, Clover Professional pot and bedded. Pot and bedding. I've got me 40 litre uh, air pots here. Um, I've put I'm decided I'm going to put onions in here. Four big onions. I've got nine, so it works out quite well for what I can get in elsewhere. Uh, four's going on the inside. What I've done is I've buried these down. I've taken the bottoms off, as you can see here. So I've taken the bottoms off, um, and I've buried them in. And like I say, the whole sort of hose and everything's on there. I've put some vermiculite. Not some vermiculite. I've put some uh, viaduct in the bottom of the holes here and also some hen pellets as well, just to get a feed. Um, I'm going to fill these up now with 30 litres of compost each and that's our prepared for tomorrow for planting the big onions out when I bring them down. Well, I will be better prepared this year. I've got two uh, two options here for when it comes to the onions. I can either do them like this um, with the stakes through the through the centres of the um, the garden hose from the ones that I did previous years, or alternatively, I can make a structure where I can just put two on the inside, um, two canes up, a bit of the across the side, and then just put two two garden canes from here to here, from here to here. I can just come up with a contraption like that. Um, I think I like the latter to be honest, but I'll see what happens with these in any case when I get them planted out. Might change my mind and see what happens. But I'm going to see what other compost I've got available so that I know how much I've got for to put into the yellow buckets and then see if I can get the the, um, the leeks planted out as well. Well, I've got Sky here. Do you want to stand up and say hello? Right, so Sky's going to give us a hand here and get these outside leeks planted out. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. Just going to fill the buckets up, then we'll get a new planter. Boop, boop. Up, next bucket, done, plant out, sorted. So, get this sorted now.
well what a day i'm absolutely shattered um i'm going to be i'll show you exactly what we've done very quickly and then that's it for today i've managed to get a good few uh, things ticked off the list of things to do which i'm pleased about uh with the kids' help as well which has been good so let's start in here so i've gotten all of these um csx planted out so they're all there planted out which is actually fantastic i'm pleased we're getting this tap done today so there them that one jsn in the corner there getting these ready for planting for tomorrow for the four giants that i'll bring down and the kids have planted up these um these are Betty Blacks, all the way up here. Which I'm uh, once again pleased about. Happy days. Me and Kyle have sorted this middle bit out, of course. We've got the um, the soaker hose fitted underneath there, which is great. And I, uh, I did a little bit of a live video earlier on, just gave you a sneak peek. Um, I've decided to extend that up here to save for bending over. Uh, I just need to get an adapter for that section so the hose can fit in straight away. So let's we'll show them what you've been doing outside. outside here, the two girls have planted up the Titan sunflowers. Not going to be floppy at the minute, but um, I give them a good drink just before we leave here. And they should be pointing up over in the next few days. And that's where they'll be. They'll be still. Yeah. Obviously, uh, the 24 tomatoes are sorted out. So we've got, uh, obviously, the Sun Gold on one side and the Shirley on the other. So and uh, I'll be putting my Roma tomatoes back into the bottom of the greenhouse as well but they'll be done another day the polytunnel the first polytunnel where i pull out in the cumbians um i've got the i've got six onions at the back here uh, they are peter edwards back garden kelsey's i've got three peter holden which i need to pot up another three peter holden on this side which i'll pot up as well um i've got the last five of the um betty blacks ready to be planted which i'll do once again tomorrow, put one spare at the back there, I'll have to see if I can find something problem in there. Um, and everything else in here is already planted and sorted, I just need to do a bit of a tidy up in here. I've got a, uh, I've got a plan for watering in here, I'm just waiting for equipment coming, I'm going to give them a try and see what happens, cheap and cheerful, you know me. I'll see what happens when I do get them and uh, see what it be. Um, so yeah, that's everything sorted for today, so thanks very much for your help Sky and the two other little devils, wherever they are. Inside the car the, waiting. The little monkeys, but uh, we'll... Uh, We'll finish signing off for today. So yeah, all in all, a very uh, good day's work today. Well, I say full day. It's only been a few hours, actually. Uh, like I say, I'm absolutely shattered. But uh, uh, without, only being able to get it done without the help of the girls and get the Kyle as well who's sitting in the car. So thanks very much, kids, for your assistance. It's been lovely to have you down here today. You're welcome. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow for another fun, packed afternoon. Well, good afternoon, everybody, actually. Um, by the time I've gotten things sorted here and brought down, um, it's actually just past 12. Uh, look at the state of me, man. Look at the state of this hair. It's a long time I've bloody had it. Uh, had a puff last night, obviously, give everything a good wash, and I've woken up this morning, and that's what I look like. <laughs> Crazy. Let me show you the stuff that I've brought down, because today is another day of planting. Uh, the jobs on the list of things to do today include planting out the giant onions, which I've brought down, and also the heavy leeks as well into the 30 litre buckets. So, I'll spin these around, I'll show you what I've brought down, and then uh, we'll get cracking. I brought five down actually, I didn't realise I brought five, it must be what I put in the car. Um, these are the heavy onions. The back one there is for Pip. That's the last Pip that I've got, I'm going to give it a check over, give it a once over, see what it's like. If it's fine, it's going to go into these buckets here, that are already prepared. Um, and I'll put the three best ones that I've got here in as well and then uh, that'll be these ones planted out in here um, I will be taking this off the top of here today as well so we'll let the sunlight in uh, everything else in here is already planted out and doing well which is fantastic so let's see first task get these onions in let's get started what I've used, once I've planted out the heavy onions here, uh, as you can see, I'm putting stuff into the hole before I put the onion in. I have put some Vitax Q4, flour and veg, and also some blood, fish and bone, along with some hen pellets, and also some viadate as well there beforehand. Um, now, of course, the viadate I put in beforehand, um, before yesterday, so um, I didn't touch anything with me. I need gloves and ventilation when you use viadate in the pellet form. Well, there we go. I think that's turned out pretty well, to be honest. So I've got four heavy onions in there. Fern three are from seed. The last black back one's from a pit. 
and they're all planted in the final pots now as well which is fantastic so that's the that's the pip that's billy lamb at the back and we've got some peter glaze brook here at the front uh distinctive shape tall tall necks uh hopefully these fill out in the next few weeks but i'm pleased with the way they've turned out and also the these little canes things as well i've i've used i didn't know what to use these for originally and uh i think they've worked out quite well for holding the onions up and um, i think i might do exactly the same in the onion house down at the bottom when i get that prepared in the next couple of days i've taken the top buttons off as well so that i can get the sunshine in here all the time so everything is now sitting and basking in glorious sunshine i just need a little bit of tidying up to do and that's this is being planted out so the next task once i've done that tidying up bit is these 30 litre buckets down below me here i need to get them planted up, basically put out into here and see what the spacing's like to get past and things like that um, and then i'll be filling them up with compost filling them with all the goodies that i've got here um, and then i will be planting the yorkshire giants into there as well so let's get this done as well well i'll have another think here just to see if this was actually viable or not which i don't think it's going to be that's where the, the buckets would be, basically, the 30 litre pots for the Yorkshire Giants. Doesn't look like it's going to be viable at the back there. So I'm going to have a rethink and see where else I can put them. So in this tunnel, it looks like that might be actually a better idea. Putting them in buckets along the back here. So we'll put five in along the back. Um, I'm also contemplating actually putting six in the ground at the back. So I've got six, obviously them six spots there, uh, leaving them um, them leaks out and just putting the Yorkshire Giants in because they look like a better leak. So I might just put them six in there, then put three in the pots, uh, but I don't quite know yet. So a change of plan after having a good think about this, um, there's six spots at the back where I can put six leaks. Um, I've actually got eight Yorkshire Giants here, so I'm actually going to put six of the Yorkshire Giants into the trench itself, then put two um, the Yorkshire Giants into 30 litre buckets and that gives us an opportunity to move around and stuff like that as well so we'll see how they grow so let's get this done <laughs> Got six uh, Yorkshire Giants direct into the into the ground itself. It's probably going to work out better to be honest. So that's them three at the back there, and them three at the back there as well. I'm going to shift that carrot pot actually. I do have to sort out some form of a system to lift the flags so that they're not going to be trailing over the sides. But I'll probably come up with something uh, later on. Probably just drill a couple of buttons to the side or something and just bring it all the way down i don't know i'll see what i've got i'll see what i've got and um, but they're in that's the main thing i'm just gonna get two of these filled for the last two i'll pop them up and that's another job done right that's that sorted out so obviously them six in the top there i've just planted them two last ones into the 30 litre bucket there with a mixture of soil and also some uh, clover professional potting bed um i've got five them five betty blacks here i'm gonna give the granddad dave and I've got a few more for somebody else, another young lad that wants to start growing as well. Um, I've still got a bit more planting up to do. So I've got these Peter Holden onions to plant up at the back there. So that's got to be added onto the list of things to do. I've also got to get sorted out with a few other things that need to be potted up as well, which I've spotted, which I'm going to write on my list. Um, I want to get the heavy carrots planted uh, by the end of the weekend as well. And I've also got a bit of tidying up to do as well. So uh, never ending, never stops. I've still got stacks to be getting on with. Other than that, I'll catch you over the next few days again and we'll get more work carried out. Morning everybody, it is now Thursday morning and as you can see I'm standing in the onion greenhouse here as today's plan is to get this sorted out, get this mess sorted out in here. So I'll be taking out all of the cabbages, I'll be taking out the bases, I'll be taking out the things on the back shelf there because the beds will be getting dug over, the beds will be getting fed, the plastic will be going back down 
and then I'll probably just be ending up planting out these 10 um, on one side and we'll uh, see what other spaces I've got after that. So this is the plan for today. Anything else is a bonus. So let's begin. Right, that's that done. So, I've made a decision in here for watering wise. I'm going to get another soaker hose and run the soaker hose along the inside of the beds because these buckets here, that's it down the side, are just going to sit on top of the bed. So, I need to get my soaker hose that's going to be the easiest way to water in here as well. So, bear with us. I'm going to pop down the will go, see if I can get one, and then come straight back and get everything else uh, sorted out in here, smooth it off get the rake, level it off, it's already been fed, it's been fed with Vitax U4, um, some uh, 6X hen pellets, um, some calcified seaweed as well, so that's all that in there as well, and you give it a good water, and hence the reason why I want to go and get a uh, sort of hose for in here to make things a lot easier for me and Grandad come these summer months, and I tell you what, whew, what a day it is a day, I mean today in here alone it's 30 degrees, oh, and I'm back, well there we go, Bag full of goodies. I'm sure you're getting very quick with here. And a couple of spray bottles for the thrips. So I've got one bottle for each section. So I've got a bottle in here, a bottle in the polycolor and things like that as well. Um, I fixed some glass seed up for a lot of my neighbour. Um, I've got the soaker hose that I needed. 15 metres, it's more than enough to do with this round here twice. I've got some more grow more. It's always handy to have. I'm going to stick some in these beds as well. Um, and I'm also getting some hose connectors as well. I need them for the hose because the plan is to be able to hook up um, the, the main hose so that it runs into here and also runs into there um, two separate separately as well or alternatively depends on how easy it is just leave it as it is but I want to get the swap of hose and things in here and that's the next plan of action I've also got some screws up with some more hair screen shaft as well because they didn't take I'm not putting them in next door um, because they're just not germinating for some reason but Time is a ticking, we need to get sorted out. So I'm gonna get uh, this sort of hose back on uh, and get this onion house finished. So one of the most meticulous things for any gardener is watering. And keeping on top of everything when you grow as much as I do is a bit of a bit of a nightmare because you can spend up to three hours per day watering everything down. Well, just tinkering on here, let me show you what I've done for this onion house and also the new polytunnel as well. It's going to make things a lot easier for me and grind that day. So it is soaker hoses. Soaker hoses is what I'm trying this year. So that is soaker hose that's in here. Now instead of having the connector on the inside down there. I thought, what's the point in having it on the inside? You've got to drag the hose all the way around, through the door, and in here. 
Why do that? When I've got a hole in that back corner anyways, all I need to do is connect a bit of tubing and extension. I've got some extra bits from Wilco's. So I've just buried that bit under there and it's joining here. So if I take this outside. There's that section there. So all I need to do is get the hose, pop it on, jobs are good. There we go. Watering the onions for 2020. Just like that. And if we go inside. So inside here, as you can see, it's coming through there, it's connecting onto there, it's coming all the way around here. Obviously it's all wet as well, which is good. I'm just taking a look and seeing if there's any patches that are dry. Shouldn't really need to, shouldn't really matter like. But if there are, I'll just make a little bit of adjustment or, but it should get plenty of water all the way through in any case, because the bed's going to be wet. So, that's one section down then all i need to do if i want to do the tunnel bit of, bit of backsplash across here as you can see here i've already drilled a hole down the bottom up the top there's the connector push that into there as you hear that straight away that's everything in here being watered the bed's been watered as well but not quite yet though not quite ready yet because you need to do the water from the top for a little while longer until the the leaks um fill out the buckets then they'll go into the ground searching for the water same with these as well right now i know that that works i'm going to get the black white plastic on and get the onions brought back in again and that's me done for today <sighs> Well, what a difference a day makes. So I've gotten, I need to cut the holes out the bottom yet, but I'm I'm rushing to head back home now. Um, I've brought the 10, 10 in that I've got already. So they're sitting there. I can get 12 down the side, this side, and I can get 12 down the side on that side. And I've got space at the back for the five giant onions that I've got left. So I'm gonna put the giant onions into there, sink them into the bed again, um, and then, from there, I'm going to put two buttons going across there, just for support the leaves, uh, or the flutes even. Uh, by the time I get them down, that should work well as well. Um, and have the onions facing that way. So they're going to be sideways on. Um, so that's that's what I'm getting done with them. Um, that means I've got space for another eight onions, which I'm going to use the 30 litre pots for, which are up there. Um, but plans are coming along. Fantastic. So I've done a lot of changing around in here today, uh, doing the soaker hose, um, the five onions at the back, how many I was going to put in here. Um, a lot of a lot of hard work's been done. The beds are dug, the beds are prepared. It's tidied out. It's set ready to go. I just need to cut the holes for the bottoms of the tubs. I need to cut the tubs out as well. Um, still a little bit of work to be done, which I'll carry on with tomorrow, but I'm pleased with this and it's going to be a lot better being able to water from outside um, when the time comes as well to water the beds for them, for them be much easier for me and Granda. But we'll see how things turn out with them in any case. But yeah, lots of hard work in here, starting to come on nice. So happy days. That's me sort of for today. So I'm going to tidy up and head home. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Morning everybody, it's Friday morning, um, I'm here, it's warm of course, it's about uh, half past seven, um, hence the bed head. <laughs> um, I'm going to do something small which I actually kind of forgot about uh, until I looked at last week's video for something, um, and that is the marrows and the um, the cucumbers, so the ones I chitted last week, so I'm going to get have a look and see exactly what, uh, what kind of germination we've got, they've been in there for three, four days now, so it should be more than enough done, so let's get them open. So important, get them marked up. As you can see there, fantastic. So that one is bags, which I'll just place down there. Not too deep. 
and also the Herons. Do the same. Put it on there. Not too deep. Jobs are good. I will put this one in to a pot. But we'll see what happens. And the other two I'll just leave in for the time being. And there's the cucumber seeds germinated. The ones on the right are the heavy cucumbers and the ones on the left are Andy Dawson's long cucumber. So I'll get these potted up now as well. Right, that's everything potted up that I wanted to get potted up. So I've got marrows here. I've got the uh, heavy cucumbers and long cucumbers here. I've gotten the early sowings of cucumbers, long and heavy. The one, the two that I got, they're there. And I've got the four long runner beans there as well. So that's all them sorted out. So everything else in here, onions are looking all right. I've got to take a few onions down to the garden today, including these heavies, um, which are going to be getting potted up into the um, <clears throat> the bottom greenhouse. Uh, the, the onion house, of course. I've just realised I've actually only got four left. I've miscalculated somewhere, so I'll have to make sure that I know exactly how many I've got. I'm not risking putting this one in. I just want to see how it grows in that pot. We'll just see what happens to it. Um, I'm not going to risk putting it in the ground and wasting money and compost on it. So I'm pleased I looked in here because I've only got four giants left, actually. So four giants need to go in the onion house. Look at this. Absolutely monster. Absolute monster here. That there is the pumpkin, the giant pumpkin. Since I potted it up in the three litre pot, three litre pot, it wasn't that long ago actually, it's absolutely flying. Nothing yet underneath. <laughs> it's absolutely going mad, it's fantastic to see. So I've got high hopes for this uh, pumpkin, but we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna take that down until uh, I can see root system in the bottom, um, so that I know it's filled out, because from this pot it'll be going in the ground. Like an update on the carrots, the chine carrots. is one in particular which I do like the look of. There's a few that's looking all right, to be honest. Um, so the one that I do like the look of, and it's progressing a bit better than the others, is this one here. Um, I'm going to wait until later on in the week, possibly the weekend, to get these planted out. Possibly I'm back, and if not, I'm going to wait until next Monday, Tuesday, because there's a frost forecast. So I'm going to get that um, sorted. Have a look at these carrots that I popped in the two litre pop bottles. Now, they are growing very, very well. And you can see with the roots, look at the roots at the bottom of there. Phenomenal. I might even stick a couple of these in. <laughs> see what the, the difference are, because that's what they're originally going to be. And we for giant carrot status. Great, they're starting to get tops on as well, which is great, the, the carrot itself. The root part. But I will go on. it's going to be a clear out in here, not long. Uh, I've still got a few sunflowers to pot out, which are going to be pot out in the front garden and uh, giving away to other children as well. Um, next door nearby is having a few as well uh, for her kids. So we'll see what happens with them. But that's probably going to be next week's task. Right, that's me sorted for home. Now I'm going to get the kids sorted, then I'm going to head to the garden, get the onions planted out and get the onions sorted. Um, and then V day to day. So we're having a bit of a party. <laughs> Elizabeth just snuck in. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're going to have a bit of a picnic up the front, so uh, it's going to be a nice day today, so it should be fun. Hope we all have fun. Now, just before I do head out in the garden, um, yesterday I picked up some begonias, some trailing begonias. Um, so I'm going to pop these in. I've got them ones, the pink ones, and also got some uh, mixed ones as well. So what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to put them one uh, one mix, uh, one mix, one pink, one mix, one pink, pink across the top here and the top of here. And uh, we'll see how that turns out. I've got the heavy onions all brought in here now. Now, I made a bit of a mistake yesterday. Now, I'm going to sink these pots into the ground. Of course, I need to cut the holes around the bottoms, but I didn't uh, take the pots at the back, so I wasn't going to put them in pot, big pots at the back. I was just going to put them in the ground, which, of course, that's a big mistake after thinking about it yesterday from what happened last day. So I'm going to put them in the large pots, but if I put them in the large pots, the soaker hose that's underneath is going to cause problems. So what I'm going to have to do is I have to, have to rejigger things around underneath at the back there so that I can get them in. So I'm going to spend a bit of time getting stuff sorted here. I'm not going to record, but I'm going to get it done. Learn from your mistakes. Well, after a little bit of messing about and accidentally cut the hose, I cut the soaker hose, can you believe it? No, I can't neither. So down here, behind this section here, I've had to join it. <laughs> 
down there. <laughs> so, it's a good job I got them in for a bit yesterday. Put that to them in. I just need to fill them with compost and away we'll go with the heavies. So let's get this sorted out now. And that's the last of the giant onions for heavies planted. I'm pleased that's done. Just need to have a give them a drink because of course they'll not reach the bottoms until a couple more weeks. So uh, I have raised them up as well so they're not sitting lower than the compost. They're level with the compost so they're sitting uh, true. So that's all of them sorted out. I probably could do with sitting a bit more compost than that one. And um, for some reason it's sunk right down. But they're all done. Happy days. Now, next task, do the same again with these ones. Now, these ones already just be planted in the ground, so I just need to cut the holes out and just sink them in. There's one side fully planted out and I've put the last two onions in there as well. So that's two thirds of this um, this onion house planted out. I've just got this side to do with the stragglers. I've got 12 leeks at home, uh, 12 onions at home, which aren't quite ready. Um, and I've got another three up at the top as well. Um, how many I get? I think it's 12 on each side. And two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So I've got three spare. Three spare little onions, so they'll be going in the, um, the next size pots, which I've got plenty of pots now, and I'll see how they get on. I might put them in just in 30 day pockets, but this will be fully planted out with all of the onions that I've got from uh, from the greenhouse at home, the shed at home, sorry, um, when they're ready to come, which shouldn't be too much longer. Instead of using these yellow buckets, I'm going to use 10 litre flour, uh, flour buckets um, that you can get from like Morrison's and Asda and stuff like that. Uh, generally, if you're cheeky enough to ask for them, you get them. Uh, if not, you just buy the pound for eight or something like that. Um, I've got them next door, so I'm going to bring them in, get everything sorted out. I'll cut the holes as well, and then I just need to chop the bottoms off, and that's it prepared, ready to go. Then I just need to come in and just like pot them on, pot on them um, into there for the final, final pot on. Then that's that done. There is one more task that I need to get done. And that's going to be getting the flute sorted on this side. So I'm going to have to come up with something that I can um, put. Uh, in fact, I'm going to use the same method I did with the, quality, the heavy onions down there with this side and also that side as well. So I'm going to go and get that all put together now and see how it goes. Right, that's them all sorted. I've cut the bottoms off 12 of these buckets. That was a feat, that was a job and a half. Um, so I'm going to get this side. Um, the bucket's planted into the ground, ready for the uh, ready for the onions to go in. Right, that's two thirds of it planted out, sorted. I've just done them buckets as well. I'm rushing at the minute because my phone's about to die, so I'm trying to show you everything I've done today. Um, so the buckets are in there, prepared to go, they've sunk them into the ground, and they're ready for the 12 onions that's at home to be brought up and just pop into there for the time being until they fill up the pot. And I'll do that on Monday, because it's uh, going to be frosty over the weekend. Hey, hey, <laughs> I just had to have a, a garden shower. Oh, it's so warm in this greenhouse today. But I'm done for the day. Happy days. Let us show you what... I've accomplished today. Starting off at the back, the giant onions. I need to put the sticky traps on, which I'll do possibly tomorrow. Um, but they're in. I'm pleased about that. That's all nine in that I've got. Then if I take a step back, oh, oh, 12 onions quality all in. 
no problems with uh, the flutes this year as I've put these canes like I did with the giants on the polytunnel along the back and along the front as well I've got them angled just so that they're looking at us as I'm coming into the greenhouse which is a nice thing to see so they're all there which is fantastic the biggest one I've got at the minute seven inches round which is great bigger than the biggest I've had there uh, before putting them in but there you go sitting down at the door they're all there so learn from the mistakes from last year put them in buckets and we'll see what comes of them this year I've just got the ones from home to bring down to pop in here and that's them all sorted they just need planting into their tubs because the tubs are all sorted as well so what the hose is all done absolutely over the moon with this at the minute Absolutely over the moon. I'm pleased with the way it's all turned out. Hopefully I get some better results this year. So yeah, very uh, very hard day today. Very hot day today. Um, plenty of fluids being drank. Right, it's time to get home for the VE Day celebrations with Leslie the kids. I made a couple of cheesecakes uh, for me mum. Um, and also um, she made some pies and stuff as well. So I'm looking forward to the tea. Um, so hope oh, everybody had a fantastic day. I'm going to sign off for the day and I'll catch you all. See what happens. See what happens over the next few days. <laughs> well, good morning. We'll put these away. These onions are the ones from home, the last 12 to go in. I'm going to get these put in today because they are actually ready to go. The roots are starting to come out the bottom. So I can pop them into these pots with the compost that I've got. So let's get crack on. have it done sorted flutes over the top of the support they're all in i just need to keep an eye on them for when they're grown so i can stretch them over yeah i lost one of them that was in the back and um, so i had a spare um peach back garden uh kelsey which i need to spin around actually if i'm gonna do it now two seconds oh, much better so all of these are facing me as i'm walking into the greenhouse just like the ones on this side are all facing me as well so they're all in like i said i think i'm going to lose that one that one the back the four in the middle at the back um so but i'm going to give them a chance because it's just as easy to take them out and put new ones back in so that's the beauty of it um if i lose one i can replace it for something else i've got six uh Pete's back garden, uh, Kelsey's there in ten litre buckets. Uh, I can just take them out, put them in a pot, in a yellow tub, and just stick them in the ground if need be. But as things stand, that's all of them planted up. Absolutely over the moon. Another job ticked off the list of things to do. Happy days. Now for the rubbish bit. <laughs> I'm going to tidy up to do. <laughs> so I just dumped everything on the outside side here. Um, the reason why I didn't put this one in is because on the bottom, as you can see there, it's starting to rot. So I'd rather not put it in the ground, put it in the pot and waste my time with it. So that's getting sorted out. I've got a couple of marigolds there, as I've got the marigolds to put in here as well. I like putting the marigolds in, it gives a bit of colour. So I've got some marigolds there and a marigolds there. I'll wait for them to get a bit bigger and then I'll just pop them, make a slit, put them in. Granddad Dave's giving us some strawberries to plant. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plant these straight in a plant in a hanger basket um, and then hang them into the onion house. So. Let's get this done now as well. Right, dead straight forward for hanging baskets. I'm a lot later than I should be. Um, all I'm going to do is I'll get myself a little cup, cup, hanging basket, plastic liner, and some strawberry plants. So what I'm going to do 
put a bit of compost in the bottom using good old Humax. Now the reason why you put the plastic on the bottom so I don't want any of the feed or anything to drip through and onto the top of the onions because that's where these are going to be hanging. So that's that and also I don't want any feed to drip out. I want the plant to take all the feed so when I'm feeding my potash and things that's what I want that. The next reason why I put this in so that I can water. So this will have holes for holes in the bottom. There's one there, I need to put another one in actually. I like to get my scissors. Um, I'll get an older one actually. There we go, one on each side. Let's use these ones. So, one on each side. I can water from in there, then I'm saving having the water from, from the edges. Uh, and that'll just sink to the bottom. Just fill that up in any case, doesn't make a difference. I can take it out. All the way around. Make sure that it's tight at the bottom because if it's not compact at the bottom of the bottom here, the water will just drain through very quickly. Whereas if you keep it tight, it'll just go through slowly as well. And um, so you know exactly how much water and feed that the, the strawberry is going to get. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my strawberry plant. Once again, thanks very much for a day for these. Crack some cracking strawberry plants. I'm not I'm not expecting to get any strawberries from these this year because they're Fact, no, I should do because I certainly have plants, but we'll just have to wait and see what happens in any case. Now, when I'm planting them, I want to plant them facing out over so that they hang over the sides. I don't want them facing straight directly up. So I'll just put that one there. Get that one there. So I want three in here all together. One. Got some old soil on. That's all right. Two. So you've got strawberry on there already. Well, we'll see what happens with that. Three. Right, get empty this again. And there we go. First strawberry planter sorted. I just need to find the S clip for that. There you go, right, I've got another five more to do. That's them sorted out, so let's get them planted, hung, hung up even. So, that's them sorted out. I'll show you what I mean by the watering. Just fill that up. And that'll sink down slowly. Now it's very difficult holding the big watering can. <laughs> As you can see, that'll go in there and that'll just water from the bottom. So it's absolutely fine. It'll sink and stay in the bottom for the plants to take up. So I'm just gonna go and do these ones now. Which I can't do with one hand, so I'm gonna have to stop you. <laughs> Onion house complete. Complete with hanging baskets for strawberries. We didn't get any last year, but we'll see what happens with these ones. If we get any this year, fantastic. If not, then we'll wait until the year after. But uh, that's, that's everything done in here, apart from the marigolds. So I'm very, very pleased with that. Now 10 to 1. Um, very pleased with how that's turned out. I'm sure you'll agree. Another big job sorted out. Now it's just a waiting game. Keep on top of the watering. Keep on top of the feed. And let's see how big we can get these bad boys. So once I got the uh, tunnel sorted out, I decided to make it move on the next task. Um, I'm not quite finished yet, but I'm pleased with the efforts that I've made so far. So let's turn you around and I'll show you what I've been doing. So these raised beds here, I've managed to sort out the frames, much better, much sturdier. And that frame at the back there, I've put a roof over the top, a poly roof over the top, to see uh, if it makes any difference. So these are the carrot beds for the giant carrots. So I'm going to have four giant carrots in here, and that's where these are going. So I've already fed the beds already in preparation, and they're well watered down, and I've dug them all out. All of the weeds that are in there, or the weeds that have come out, it was pretty much looking like this one here. So, just weeds in the bottom and a bit of mare's tail. 
to pull out and dig right down to the bottom which i've done with this one so it's all clear that's all ready to go for planting with the giant carrots so that's that one done this one i'm going to do the beetroot in giant beetroot so um i need to dig all this one out put a new uh, bit of blue over the top cut some pro some new holes out for the uh, for the beetroot and then that's that sorted out as well ready to go for the planting out right so the last task for today and for this week what a week is going to be to pot these giant sweet on so i've got me three little pots ready i'm going to put these on the stand time lapse and that's me done i'll sign up for this week Well, I got distracted, and when I got distracted, I uh, forgot to press the record button. <laughs> so I just popped up all them Swedes. Um, but anyways, you'll see it now anyway, so I'm going to turn you around and show you what the Swedes like after I've been potted into three litre pots. So that's the Swede. I've got two different varieties. I've got six from the EVGVA and five from Medwins. At the minute, the Medwins that was sown on the 16th of the 2nd. Uh, both these were sown on the 16th of the 2nd, exactly the same route. Medwins are performing a lot better here at the moment than the EGVGA ones, um, but we'll see what happens in the next few weeks with them. Um, when I get a chance to, I need to pot up the Gary Heeks beetroot. Also, I need to sort out the beetroot for the uh, from Chris Marriott as well. I've got um, some room at the sort out up there as well, and I'm pleased to say that the marigolds are starting to come through as well. So hopefully I'll have a lot more marigolds, thankfully. The begonias are absolutely flying now across the top of there which is great sorry i'm just showing you what i can see um and i've got these uh i've still got them to plant out as well let us for next week well that's it that's me done i'm finished let me show you around what i've managed to get done this week into the first polytunnel managed to get all of the leaks potted out into here so we've got uh two four uh, two four there's ten there's 19 in here all together so um 19 leaks six Yorkshire Giants at the back and two Yorkshire Giants in the 30 litre pots. Um, I've got Peter Holden onions which I need to pot up again, which I will do next week. Um, I've got uh, Peter, Peter Edwards back garden, Kelsey's sitting in the pots there nicely as well. I'm liking the look of them, they are looking pretty good. Um, and I've got some more seed for that as well, so I'm looking forward to growing them again next year. Uh, so, yeah, in here is all done. Inside the new polytunnel, I've managed to get the leeks planted out in here as well into the buckets, including um, these are the Betty Blacks on this side. We've got one GSN coming up there, and we've got the Mackenzie CSX on that side as well. So they've all responded well to being planted out, and a few of them are starting to show nice curly, curly hair flutes uh, there as well. So get the flags even. Um, so yeah, they, they, they've reacted well to being in the in the ground in the nice colour as well. I've managed to get four heavy onions planted on the inside here, as well as the join. What little Kyle helped out as well, if you remember. Um, so I've got four of the heavy onions planted out, um, and they're doing all right as well. By the looks of it, I'll just open that up. So I just need to get these as well while I'm here. I'll give these a spray before I leave with some Dynamec, just because the sun's gone down now, so it's safe enough to spray. So a handy tip for you is do not spray it while the sun is out. Same like watering as well, because you can't damage your plants. Let's put these Titan sunflowers in the ground the other day. And they're coming on well as well, have grown a little bit as well. And I've lost one due to slug damage, so I've just popped um, one of the ones with the biggest head on the outside, just in the pot. I will get that pl planted out this week. When I say plant out this week, I mean, you know, next week. Um, the girls also did a smashing job in here and planted the sun golds, not the golden suns, as they keep on calling them. And also, so the sun golds on the left and the Shirley on the right. And once again, they're responding well. It looks like we're starting to get the first truss on as well. So they're coming on all right. Nice and healthy top growth. This is where majority of works went through. In here, cleared it all out, got it all prepared, got a soaker hose put in at the bottom, got the onions planted out, 
got the onions, the flutes uh, sorted. And on this side, getting all these in different buckets on this side as well. And there, uh, a later batch of my own seed, seed as well. And at the back here, we've got the heavies and the 30 litre, 40 litre air pots, but I've only put 30 litres in. And also sunk them at the ground as well. So if they need any more nutrients, it's in the bed. So that's left from lessons learned last year. This is how I wanted to get it done. I'm over the moon with it. It doesn't look as nice and neat as it did last year, but it's neat enough for what it needs to be in here, which is great. Um, hanging baskets. Got six hanging baskets done with some strawberries in. That was a nice little job to get uh, sorted out. Wasn't planning on getting that done. So that's that's it all in here as well. Outside, what I've done is I've um, staked, I've put, I've tied these all up anyways. I've got them all wrapped up so I can get down the back. I haven't uh, topped them yet or anything like that, so I'm just going to leave them this year, then I'll have to top them next year and pull out all the dead wood and get down below sorted out as well. Um, so I'm getting the raspberry cane sorted. Giant carrots, giant carrot bed, space for four. So I've got this all cut down to size, the same as level as the other size. It's nice and strong. And I've also put some uh, top port, some plastic over the top to help out. When I came before there, and I showed him, he says, well, might as well get the other one done. So, lo and behold, just quickly pop this one on the top as well. So this one here is going to be for the beetroot. I need to sort out the bottoms uh, for the blue cover to go onto there. But that's that. Well, that's me done. What's an absolute hectic week I've had this week. I was planning on being busy, but I wasn't expecting to be this busy. I'm physically exhausted now. Um, I know it doesn't seem like I've done much physically, but with the heat and everything as well, it's taken its toll. Um, I've been down here longer than I expected today, um, but I am pleased I've been able to get all of the things planted out, the exhibition stuff, the onions are planted out, the leeks are all planted out. Um, there's a few onions which I need to get sorted out, but they're in good sized pots, so I don't need to worry about them at the moment. I'm getting lots of things potted on, lots of things tidied up and ready to go. Um, so I'm, I am pleased I'm getting the watering system sorted out in here around and this also in the new polytunnel as well. That's going to help me and Granada Dave going forward. Now just to make, let you know that uh, we have put the hose on to see how long it takes for the beds to get wet. Um, so that is something that um, we've taken into consideration and we'll just have to wait and see how the, the, the onions and the leeks perform as well. But they're reacting well. The leeks that's been in for a few uh, couple of days now, they're... they're well, you can see they're all starting to throw fruits up, which is great. I mean, they've only been in two days, but they've been in them buckets for a little while now, so they're still continuously growing. Um, these are now bigger than what they were last year. These aren't, um, but they'll get that chance in any case. Same with the ones in the polytunnel. So yeah, that's me sorted. I want to thank you all for watching. Um, thank everybody for their messages and things and comments and stuff like that as well, and your emails, it's been great. I am still missing a few emails from the quiz that I did a few weeks ago. If I'm gonna leave it till um, this coming Friday. So if I haven't heard of anything this coming Friday from the guys that's missing, then I will be putting them back up for people to claim um, or come up with another little quiz on a Wednesday night again. Speaking of Wednesday night, Join me this Wednesday night for another live video. A lot of people got confused and thought it was last week. But no, it's Wednesday every fortnight. So this coming Wednesday, I will be on live 9pm on YouTube. So I look forward to seeing you all there. Once again, thanks for liking everybody. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, I look forward to speaking to you all on the premiere of this week's video as well. So take care, watch what you're doing. And I'll see you all next week. So search for Dean's Lost the Plot on YouTube. Hit the subscribe button. Then next to the subscribe button, you hit the bell, then click all that is at the top, and then you'll be notified upon every video that I upload. Mm -hmm.